uh, even here in the Netherlands himself. So he is back here in like, what was it, 40 years? So um, on behalf of everybody here, and especially the Abachar and Kitsanga, uh, we bid you a very hearty welcome back, and we hope that you'll come, come back here many more times. Arrivo. Maharaj is so incredibly erudite that uh, he preaches in not just in English but also in Chinese. He preaches a lot in the Asian countries um, uh, like China, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam and the Middle East and even Vladivostok in Russia. I don't know if you know where Vladivostok is but like on one end of Russia you have St. Petersburg and Moscow which is what we know uh, here in Europe, and then you have a whole bunch of nothing, and then on the other end of the world you have Vladivostok, which is near Korea, and yeah, you wouldn't think that there would be devotees there, but thanks to Maharaj, there are devotees there, so Jai! <laughs> so, without further ado, I will pass the mic on to Maharaj uh, for the lecture. Yeah, just hold it. Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Gopi Jana Bala Bagiri Bada Gopi Jana Bala Bagiri Bada Gopi Jana Bala Bagiri Bada Gopi Jana Bala Shodanandana Braja Jana Ranjana Shodanandana Braja Jana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Swami Ki, Jagannath Rathi Adra Ki, Srila Prabhupada Ki. Om Magyana Dhamarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Taksur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Vaidevacha Patitanam Pavan Hibyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो एज यू ऑल नो रात्रि यात्रा वाज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट फेस्टिवल फॉर आवर फाउंडर आचार्य श्री लप्रभु पाद एज अ लिटिल बॉय when he was only a few years old he desired to put on a ratyatra festival and his father being a pious devotee of krishna he helped him and his father arranged everything his father somehow went out found a little chariot for them and he arranged that his son at that time abai could perform rati atra with the other village children he got all the children around to all come and the father also provided nice prasadam they could distribute for all of the children and in this way everyone enjoyed the festival so just as a child this program was begun uh, by shri prabhupad somehow he had that inspiration as a child must have been from previous life it's not by chance that the children here today are taking part in rati atra they must have had some connection with rati atra and with the worship of lord jagannath in their previous life and now they've come again in their childhood to continue the worship and the service of lord jagannath so it's very special event of course rati yatra is going on all over the world in our different centers the devotees of lord jagannath everywhere putting on the rati yatra festival it's a very wonderful opportunity for us to bring all the devotees together and everyone comes together and we can all take part pulling the chariot and chanting the holy name and distributing prasadam of course we're fortunate because lord jagannath is so merciful that he comes out of the temple usually you have to go into the temple to see the deity but lord jagannath is very kind that he comes out of the temple and he comes out and there's a, a chariot festival we take the deity around so people who never go to temple they have the opportunity to see lord jagannath and the seeing lord jagannath it's a great blessing for them it's an opportunity for them to begin their spiritual life to begin their krishna consciousness so this rati yatra festival is it, it it it's an act of mercy to give the opportunity to everyone to take up devotional service we can describe the rati yatra as the original street festival in i i know in amsterdam you have the king's birthday and you have a festival at that time so this rati yatra this is another festival the snan yatra was the birthday of lord jagannath and after the birthday after the snan yatra lord jagannath had been sick for some time for about 15 days he'd been in recluse no darshan we were not able to see the lord but then after 15 days he and his brother and sister have all recovered and they they come out and they want to go home they want to go back to their home to vrindavan to be with their family and friends 
So Lord Jagannath, along with Lord Balaram and Subhadra Maharani, they go together. They go to Vrindavan. And this Rathi Atra festival is that in honor of this, going to Vrindavan, bringing Krishna back to Vrindavan. The original Rathi Atra festival took place at Kurukshetra. Srila Prabhupada told us how Kurukshetra was important for two things. We all know Kurukshetra as being the place where Lord Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita, but it's also the place where the first Rathi Atra took place. Lord Krishna had come there to Kurukshetra because Kurukshetra is Dharmakshetra. Bhagavad Gita says Dharmakshetri Kurukshetri. Kurukshetra is a place of Dharma, it's a holy place. So 5,000 years ago, Lord Krishna was residing in Dwarka, but there was going to be an eclipse there was going to be a solar eclipse. So at that time, it's customary for people who follow the Vedic culture that they will go to a holy place and they will perform yajna and they will give charity. So Lord Krishna arranged that he, along with all of his family, and he, you know, he had a big family, they all came from Dwarka to Kurukshetra. And Lord Krishna also arranged that the gopis would come from Vrindavan because Lord Krishna had not seen the gopis for a long time. And Lord Krishna was missing the gopis. He likes to see his gopis. So he sent a message to Vrindavan and he requested all the gopis that you please all come to Kurukshetra and we can be together again because we have not seen each other for such a long time. So of course the gopis were very eager to come to meet Krishna. However, when they came to Kurukshetra, it was something of a shock for them because they saw Lord Krishna wasn't quite the same. You know what happens, you know, you may grow up in the village, but then when you go to the city, you know, you dress up and you get different clothes and, you know, you start to put on makeup and things like that. People look different, you know. So the gopis, they came to Kurukshetra and they saw Lord Krishna and they thought, well, he's not the same. We know Krishna as a cowherd boy with a peacock feather, playing the flute, dressed in forest flowers, decorated with forest flowers. But here he is, he's become a prince. And he has all silk and jewelry and turban. He's not the same as, as we know him from Vrindavan. And they thought, this Kurukshetra, this is also not like Vrindavan. This Kurukshetra, so noisy place, rattling of chariots and so many elephants moving about and so many different warriors on their horses and soldiers marching. This place, is, it's not like Vrindavan. We don't, we don't enjoy Krishna here in Kurukshetra. So we want to bring him to Vrindavan. So this is how the Rathi Atra came about. The gopis decided we will take Krishna to Vrindavan. And they arranged the chariot, and this was the first Rathi Atra, bringing Krishna back to Vrindavan. So Lord Chaitanya 
Of course, Lord Chaitanya went to live in Jagannath Puri, and every year when he was in Jagannath Puri, he would take part in the Rathi Atra festival. And all the devotees would come, all of his associates would come from Navadweep and Mayapur and Shantipur and, and Katwa and all the different places around where Lord Chaitanya used to live as a young man when he was in the Grihastha Ashram. All of his associates, the devotees, they would all come to Jagannath Puri to take part in the Rathi Just as you do today, you go to Puri and thousands of people are there and they come from very far away. They'll come from all over Orissa and Bengal and they'll all come to take part in the Rathi Atra. And they, each of the different villages would have their different kirtan parties. The different devotees from each village, just like here, you know, you are one party, maybe when you go to Amsterdam, you know, there's so many other parties, there's different people. Here we have the Ambaicharan kirtan years, you know, but in Amsterdam there'll be other people also, different groups. So they all come together for Rathiyatra and similarly in Puri, Lord Chaitanya would dance and Lord Chaitanya would organize the Kirtan party. There would be Kirtan, there would be one Kirtan party in the front, another Kirtan party on the left, another party on the side, another party behind. And Lord Chaitanya would arrange the, the Kirtan parties around the chariot of Lord Jagannath and Lord Chaitanya would be dancing and of course each of the parties wanted Lord Chaitanya to dance in their party. So Lord Chaitanya by his mystic potency he would expand himself so that he would appear in each of the different kirtan parties and each of the parties were thinking Oh, Lord Chaitanya is dancing in our party. And each of the kirtan parties would become ecstatic and they would be dancing, jumping. Each of the kirtan parties, someone was appointed as the lead singer, someone was appointed as the dancers. There were two madangas in every kirtan party and there were so many kartal players and everyone was dancing and chanting the holy name. So this is the ecstasy of Rathi Atra. And this Rathi Atra event, of course, has now expanded itself in so many ways to so many places around the world that even here in Holland, in this park, we can also have our own Rathi Atra. And we have, of course, Lord Jagannath has come along with his brother Balarama and sister Subhadra to bless the event. And Srila Prabhupada is also there. And Srila Prabhupada always liked to come to the Rathi Atra. We remember Srila Prabhupada coming to England. Um, I'm I joined the Krishna Consciousness Movement in the UK. So I remember Srila Prabhupada coming for Rathi Atras there. And uh, at one point Srila Prabhupada was, in, he was so enthused, he said, I don't want to, I don't want to sit. Usually we'd put Prabhupada's Vyasa son on the chariot as it is here. But it happened one year, Prabhupada said, I'm going to walk in the chat in the procession this year. And Prabhupada walked, but as he walked, he began to dance in the kirtan. And of course, Prabhupada was dancing in the kirtan. Although he was over 70 years old, he would still dance in the kirtan and inspire all of us to chant and dance. And the, the English policemen, you know, English policemen are very, very conservative, you know, they don't like 
<laughs> they didn't they didn't really appreciate what we were doing and so they were trying to tell the devotees they said tell that old man to stop it <laughs> and of course nobody would do that nobody said no no i'm not going to tell prophet the, the police would get upset but prophet kept dancing and dancing and the policeman could do nothing about it <laughs> So Prabhupada enjoyed so much chanting and dancing. In Australia also, he danced and chanted in Rathi Atra one time, when they had Rathi Atra there in Australia. Anyway, Prabhupada liked so much that we would do Rathi Atra. Uh, one year, you know, Prabhupada, in, in Prabhupada's time, our movement was very small. We were all young, as you heard. I was a, a young man. I was 22 or something when I got, when I was there. In 20, I joined 21, and 22 I got initiation. So we were very young people. I was one of the older devotees. Others were teenagers, you know. So we were all young people, and hardly we had any money to pay for anything. We were always in debt. One time, the devotees had the idea, we'd, we'd bring Prabhupada from the airport, we'd rent a helicopter, <laughs> you know, because the traffic is so bad in London, and we thought, bring Prabhupada all the way through the traffic, is not good. You know, George Harrison had purchased the Bhaktivedanta Manor, so we thought, we'll, we'll rent a helicopter, bring Prabhupada in the helicopter. So we brought Prabhupada in the helicopter. But then the, the next year, when Prabhupada came, you know, we didn't have a helicopter the next year. And Prabhupada said, last year you brought me in the helicopter. The devotee said, Prabhupada, we're still paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> so Prabhupada, he laughed, you know, he understood. <laughs> another, another year, we had a very, very big Rathi Atra. And Prabhupada was impressed because usually when he would come, you know, we we're always struggling. We had, we didn't even have a car. We, Prabhupada came. We had we, somehow we purchased this old second-hand car because none of us had a vehicle. We had no vehicles for the whole temple, and we didn't know anybody with a car who could drive Prabhupada. So we bought some old second-hand car to take Prabhupada, because Prabhupada would like to go to the park in the morning. So we needed, we needed something to drive Prabhupada. <coughs> so Prabhupada knew our movement. We were, we were very poor, you know, we were living from hand to mouth somehow. Somehow we were surviving. We were always in debt. So it happened when we had Rathi Atra, they put on this big festival. And we had so much, we had so much decoration, and we put posters everywhere, and they made stickers, and they put stickers everywhere, Rathi Atra, London Rathi Atra, and it was held in Trafalgar Square, which is a very important uh, tourist monument in the heart of London, and that's where we had the Rathi Atra. And we had a big chariot, a huge chariot, the chariot was so big that the newspapers declared that the, this Jagannath Rathi Atra fest, the, the chariot is challenging Nelson's column. It was so big, you know, it was challenging Nelson's column. So Prabhupada was very happy, but wonderful program, a lot of prasadam. He said, he said how, how did you do it? Because Prabhupada knew we never had money. He said, how did you manage to do it? And so they told Prabhupada, they said, well, what happened, Srila Prabhupada? They put this one devotee in charge of organizing the Rathiatra festival. Maybe you know him. He, he, he comes with the Namaruchi party, Mahavishnu Swami. You know Mahavishnu Swami? He wears that funny hat, you know? So he was a brahmachari at the time. And they, they put him in charge of the Rathi Atra festival and they said, you have to organize the Rathi Atra festival this year and there's no money. 
<laughs> so you have to raise the money. And Krishna arranged, Krishna arranged, someone in his family died. And he's from quite a wealthy family. So that when the person died, he got an inheritance. So all the inheritance which he got, he used it all for the Rathi Atra festival. So they told Srila Prabhupada, they said, Srila Prabhupada, you know this one devotee, he got all the money, he inherited money from his family, he used it all for Rathi Atra. And Srila Prabhupada said, oh, money well spent. <laughs> So Prabhupada thought that was a very good way to spend the money, you know. He didn't say, oh, he should have given the money to me, or he should have given out a lot of books. He thought, very good, you know, he used all the money for the Rathi Atra festival. And so that was one interesting pastime which took place in relation to Rathi Atra. Another interesting pastime which took place was in, in New York. Now, in New York, they put, they hold the Rathiatra, I don't know if they still do it, but the, the, the first Rathiatra, when Srila Prabhupada was there, it was 1977, I think, or 76. And we had it right down Fifth Avenue. The Prabhupada called Fifth Avenue in New York the most important street in the world very famous street, the Fifth Avenue. You know, some famous man will come, they'll, do, they'll have a ticket take passage, you know. So they had Rathiatra right down the Fifth Avenue, and it was all organized, just like May Day Parade, you know. If you go to Moscow, in Moscow they have the May Day Parade, and you have all the army and all the military and the bombs and the, you know everything is a big parade so we had Rathi Atra and they made it a parade of strength three chariots and then behind the chariots they had Ram, Radha Damodar buses all the buses which the devotees travel around America preaching and then they had all the different bands and vehicles they had a huge big procession all these different vehicles which all the devotees were using. And it was all organized like this. It, it, it's like a show of strength. So they had this wonderful parade down Fifth Avenue. So Prabhupada was, and you know, he loved it. He thought, this is wonderful. This. And even the newspapers, the next day, the headlines were Fifth Avenue, where East meets West, you know? East meaning our Rathiatra and the West, New York. So Prabhupada was very happy. And he asked the devotees, how did you do it? How could you get permission? Because usually we could never get permission to do anything in New York. And they even had a ban. They had a ban on processions at that time. They didn't want any demonstrations because there'd been a lot of demonstrations going on. And they had a ban, no more demonstrations. But somehow the devotee went to get permission. And the man asked him, what are you going to do? And the, and the devotee said, oh, we have three hand pull carts. Hand, hand pull cart. So a hand pull cart, the impression is something very small, you see. <laughs> so he said, three hand pull carts. So the man thought, Oh, three hand pull car. Okay, it's not, you know. And he gave permission. So Prabhupada, when, when they told Prabhupada like this, Prabhupada said, he said, yes, he said, this is in our line. And he gave the example. He said, just like Bali Maharaj, Bali Maharaj came to, uh, to beg charity, right? Who, who did Bali Maharaj beg charity from? Lord, oh, Lord Vamanadev came to Bali Maharaj to beg charity, right? Lord Vamanadev came to Bali to get the charity. So Lord Vamanadev came and said, just three steps of land. <laughs> just three steps of land. And of course, with two steps, he covered the whole universe. So Prabhupada said, 
three hand pull cards. He said, this is in our line. <laughs> Prabhupada appreciated very much that devotees could be intelligent and figure out ways to get around all the bureaucracy in order to push on the Sankirtan movement. So those are some interesting examples about pastimes in relation to Rathiatra. And every year more and more Rathiatras are coming up. And we're very glad to see the children here today putting on a very nice Rathiatra and giving different performances. And we want to see you also go on and develop more and more. This is giving great pleasure to Lord Jagannath, the Lord of the universe. Lord Jagannath wanted so much to go to Vrindavan. So here we have, this is a very Vrindavan-like atmosphere here in the park with all the trees and the birds. It's not like Kurukshetra. <laughs> We're so fortunate. You're already here in Vrindavan with the birds. I don't know where Yamuna River is in Govardhan. They're, they're in their apricot form. <laughs> they're not manifest. Okay, so we're so happy to be here today with all of you. And I'm sure Srila Prabhupada is very pleased to see that you're putting on nice Rathi Atra festival. Okay, thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada ki. Jagannath Swami ki. Jagannath Rathi Atra ki. Premanandi. Hare 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 Maharaj Ki. Thank you so much for that wonderful lecture, Maharaj. So uh, the next item on the schedule for today is a, a dance, in uh, an Odyssey dance. Uh, for those of you who know, Jagannath is actually uh, a very uh, loved um, element in Odyssey 